Welcome back fellow gamers. So apparently I've been living under a rock and I was unaware that you could utilize uh, Ivy Gleeful Spell Thief's ability with Mutate. So in today's video we're going to be building a Simic Mutate deck around Ivy. Now let's get right into that. So let's start things off by obviously going Historic. Let's name the deck Mutate plus Ivy. Pretty obvious there where we're going with this deck. Uh, so let's start things off by selecting blue and green and then adding ivy to the deck so we're going to start things off with three copies i'm going to sideboard the fourth as i'm just deciding if i want to have four or if i want to run three we'll see how the rest of the deck shapes out now like most simic mutate decks you're going to want to add a cop uh, four copies of Scute Swarm. Uh, this way, a lot of the mutate cards will help us, especially in Simic, will help us get lands on the field. Uh, so we really want to take advantage of that by adding four copies of Skew Swarm. That way we can really go wide once we have six lands on the field. Okay, so from there we're going to move on to the mutate cards. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to take advantage of cards that bring lands on the field. So in that case, we're going to have four copies of Migratory Great Horn, uh, and then two copies of Parcel Beast. Uh, these cards will help us get lands on the field, and then a few other staples for Mutate and Simic. We're going to do C-Octopus, but two, we're going to do three copies of the Heron, three copies of the Shark, two copies of Starix. And I think that looks pretty good for me. Now to build off of uh, Skewed Swarm, who's the main threat for this deck, we are going to want to add a couple more cards that will help us get lands on the field. So to do so, we're going to do Cultivate. We're going to do three copies of Cultivate. And we're also going to add a Sharia. We're going to add one copy there. Now, I think that would be enough to capitalize on Skewed Swarm. If you want to, you can always add another copy of Cultivate. But I think this is a good base for this deck. Now, as you can see, we have quite a few 5-drop cards in this deck. So, to get a little bit of card draw for this deck, we're going to take advantage of a new card, and it's up to Beanstalk. Now, this card reads whenever... Uh, up the Beanstalk enters the battlefield, and whenever you cast a spell with mana value 5 or greater, draw a card. So whenever you play the card, you get to draw, and then whenever you uh, play a card with 5 or higher mana value, you also get a draw. And considering we have so many 5 drops in this deck, uh, we're going to want to have Up the Beanstalk. It's just a great addition, and I think, I think we're going to run 4 copies of this. So that right there is looking pretty good. What I want to do now is add a little bit of mana production. Uh, and in that case, we're going to actually go to Paradise Druid. This is a great card that I think will fit good in this deck. Uh, I Paradise Druid is actually my go-to. Uh, because I really like the fact that it has hexproof as long as it's untapped, uh, which I like. So we're going to add three copies of that. And then we're also going to add one copy of Volo. Volo is a great addition, as whenever we, we have a lot of creatures in this deck, uh, it's actually quite aggro. So whenever we play a card that's new and doesn't share a creature type, we actually get to copy the card. So whenever we mutate in, or we play a Skewed Swarm, we're going to copy that. Kind of similarly to the way in which Ivy Gleeful Spell Thief works. So that's going to be pretty fun. Um, I think this looks pretty good. Now, we are currently sitting at 3.4 average cost per card. Now, generally, I rule a thumb if it's... Above 3, I will run 25 lands. So in this case, I think we're going to go that route, and we're going to do 25. 
We'll increase that. Now, I think this is quite good. Obviously, you can tweak this however you choose uh, based on what lands you have available for yourself. I know a lot of us don't have the wild cards to allocate for lands, but I think this is a pretty good deck. Now, uh, let me know in the comment sections what you think, uh, what cards you would add, how you'd change this deck, or how I can improve it. Let me know in the comment section below. And uh, let me know if you would want to see a video of some gameplay. And uh, with that being said, on to the next video.